I work at Power Curbers and we do the machinery that extrudes that concrete out the back of the machine and it forms the curb and the gutter that you see on the side of the road. A slip form paver is a large construction machine that drives along fairly slowly. You dump concrete in one end and something comes out the other end that looks like a road. <laughs> We installed a uh, Tier 1 product back in 98, largely because we thought all that information would make us so much better at managing our business. Uh, what we found out was we started managing the system rather than managing our business. It was very difficult for the users to learn. It was very difficult to manage. Probably about the second week we had it, we decided, <laughs> decided it wasn't working out. I started doing a, um, a review of a lot of software products. Uh, then as I started narrowing my list down, the uh, Mass 500 product kept, kept moving further and further up the list as we went. Right at first, I was nervous about a very short three month implementation time period. I was on the original Tier 1 implementation team and it took us almost a year. We did a, an implementation complete enterprise system from a configurator to using projects in little less than 120 days. At Go Live, it was simply a switch of a button. We turn one system off and the other system on. Sage Mass 500 is much easier than what we had before. I had just recently been trained on the previous program and was a little concerned. But once we got on the Mass 500, it just all seemed to click so much better. Our manufacturing system is based on the concept of lean manufacturing. The average part that goes into our machine is here less than 24 hours. Um, but on the other side of it, we build a very customized machine. One of the nice things about SageMass 500 and the configurator is that it's a relatively simple configurator. In fact, our salespeople configure the machines as they need them for the variety of customers. I love the configurator. To actually configure a machine probably takes less than three minutes. That part of it is just the best. It creates its own bill of material and routing from that configuration. Then the work order is generated, which shows exactly what materials are to be added to it into an assembly. The biggest thing is keeping the information to keep up with the velocity of the iron is very, very important to us. And for the first time in our history, we were able to have a computer-generated schedule of when our machines were going to be built, what they were going to consist of, who the machine was going to, and that sort of thing. Since we've implemented Sage Mass 500, we've, we've seen a, a number of great improvements for our business. Uh, on one hand, the, the product costs less to maintain. The, we're using less people to, to maintain the system, and those folks in turn are doing more customer direct activities. We've had very little downtime. It's been very productive time. Um, our users have adapted to it very quickly and easily. Uh, we're going to make some radical changes in how we do business, how people work together. The, the Sage Mass 500 product is going to be very easily modified, minimal, minimal modifications to be able to make a huge change in how we do business. There's no comparison. With the Tier 1 system, it almost got to the point where we were working for the system. With the Mass 500 product, it is working for us the way we want it. We had many expectations when we bought Sage Mass 500, and at this point, uh, every expectation we have has been met or exceeded.